Hi, I'm Sandy. And I'm Doug. <laughs> and we're living on our happy bus right now. How long have y'all been in the happy bus? Oh, just a couple of months. That's yeah. it. <laughs> wow. So real newbies. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. So a couple months. Yeah, wow. Full time. Full time. Full time. Full time. How long have you owned the bus for? Oh, what the fuck? Oh. Five or six years. Yeah, five or six yeah. years. Mm -hmm. So through your your patience and time, and and you're from cold weather country too, yeah. right? Part of the Northeast, right? And you had to work on the bus kind of in between. The yeah, that kind of inter interrupted our build. With yeah, the, the winters. winters. With the winters, but you stayed with it. And he was still working full time, so the bus didn't mm -hmm. get done as quick as we wanted it to. We were itching to get out here. <laughs> we're itching to get out of here. What what kind of made you want to? Do something different than the norm. Get out and be a nomad. I guess COVID hit and um, uh, prices on houses in the Northeast were pretty good. And if you were going to sell, now was the time. Um, mm -hmm. And we kind of thought we would do it in a few years, but... Um, we're on the accelerated plan. Yeah, so we decided to sell the house, and which was nice because we got a little mm -hmm. more than what we were asking. So that was always good. And... Um, we headed out so yeah. and we're here and we had met you all last year at schoolie palooza and um right. kept in contact and such great people so um it was good to to come out and have friends and know um that they knew what they were doing because we were <laughs> newbies <laughs> what's so fun about since we've been out here for so long now going on seven years you you meet new people like yourselves and mm. at one time we were just like you but you know through our friendships and our acquaintances and stuff we picked up more knowledge and become a better steward of it i think mm -hmm. and uh, so that's good <laughs> so what has been the most fun thing since you've been out so far um well <laughs> meeting people seeing the country is always a great thing um and I have to say, I kind of like the campfires around here. I'm getting yeah. used to them. They were a little rough at the beginning for me. <laughs> but um, I really like the campfires and the camaraderie that everybody has here. You know, it's a nice group of people. Um, it's funny because we all kind of have little things in common and um, and it's, it's good. We just had recently had a damage to the window. I had to have the window replaced, so that all that all got taken care of down in uh, Yuma. So it's been very convenient to be close by. So, Doug, how long is this bus? Uh, Thirty-five footer. Thirty-five foot. Yeah. And uh, of course, it's got dual in the back. The modific modifications. You did some modifications to it. Yeah, I got uh, the for the diesel heater. I have a storage tank just in front of that cabinet there where I put in a port. I um, can remove that and then I can fill through that hole. Uh, the two uh, boxes back here you added? Yeah, I cut a, cut a spot for the batteries uh, yeah. mounted behind that box. Okay. So we got a lot of work down there and then the one, the one back further is one of those bare boxes. And, uh, cut that out. Handy dandy little grill, excuse me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's just on a rack here. Just how we do those. Need it in certain ways. Simple to put away and you could yeah. get out here in a minute's notice if there was a war with the border patrol or something. <laughs> <laughs> After last night I'm almost ready to leave myself. <laughs> but anyway, that's the way that stuff goes. So what's the little pirate thing right there for? Well, it's, that's to cover up some uh, blemishes. We <laughs> blemishes? <there>. Yeah. <laughs> we all have those. We all have those. Cool. All right. So uh, we've got this new screening system put in place where it's just the sash windows, the old-fashioned screens in there. And uh, that's worked out well for us. We framed it off, and we're very happy with it. Uh, recently put in some reflectics on the back here. I don't need to see through the window anymore, so I put some beadboard up there. And I have a little 
locking mechanism that uh, slides in there. With a turn, it's all locked. And of course, we tow our Jeep on the back of this as well. And uh, we've got a C7 Caterpillar. And that works out just fine towing anything. It's got all the power you need. This, right up here, that's you, you said the. Uh, yep, that's my water fill there. Water fill? Pull that out, run the water in. That's your radiator and everything. And more boxes over here. And you got a lot of storage you put in this thing. Yeah. I, I'm saying you did those, right? Yes. Right. Well, they didn't make the boxes, but I cut them up. They could sell a frame. Goes right in under. And uh, all they had to do was cut a big old hole down the side here. So when you when you made this, did you use a sawzall or something to jigsaw or I actually used a, a, a Makita jigsaw. Take it nice and slow and sweet. Don't make no mistakes. Wow, man, you did, a, you did a great job. Really good. Really good job. Well, I've got some work invested. And the windows, you said the tent on the windows is yeah. on the inside. They came yeah. a little bit tinted. Yeah, but we wanted to get it nice and dark, so we put some limo tint on there. So it all came out pretty good. I got my screen system here, which consists of just a, a sheet of uh, screening. And we've got these magnets that wow. hold everything right in place, nice. Man, do you leave that on going down the road, or you? Well, I, I don't usually want to, but sometimes I do. <laughs> <laughs> so you're still here. You still got it. Still so. here. <laughs> that works. Hey, you can open this window here by the table and everything. Yep. Yep. The slides all over. Got my yeah. just going through. Wow, good job. And it came this color. Yep, yep, and it's it, a military activity bus. It's a military activity bus, what year? Uh, it's 06, 2006. 2006, Bluebird. Bluebird, military Bluebird. activity bus. Yeah, of course, the side mirrors and everything, pretty good. Could we have a tour of your bus? Could you tell us a little bit about it? Oh, sure, sure, I'd love to. Um, I guess I'll start with some of the highlights from Schooly Palooza that people liked when we were there. Um, one of them was, and this is a new piece, is uh, our chest of drawers. Um, the funny part was it was supposed to be my chest of drawers and Doug was only gonna have the bottom and I could have the top three, but that hasn't happened yet. We still have a lot of tools and things in here, things that belong to him and not me yet. So, um, um, but we do love it. I think it's good. I can put my books and things up on top. And like I said, he's got the next three drawers and he has his tools and he can access them rather quickly. Um, trying to think these uh, boat hatches um, were also kind of interesting to people. We have two vents that go down both sides of the bus and um, which power our air conditioners that work only when the bus is on. So we had these going all the way through the bus and I kind of liked them. They were all nice and gray, but we couldn't do cabinets um, with them the way they were. So we tried wood and it didn't work. So Doug found these online on some boat um, YouTube channel. And these are really nice. They're nice and light. I'm going to come down here and show you what they look like because these are the ones that are a little neater than the ones down there. Doug's clothes are down there. Um, so what he did was he cut them and he applied these boat hatches and they work great. They're nice and light, easy to keep clean, and they stay closed and they're nice and snug. So when we're traveling, we have no problem with these. They're excellent. I'm um, trying to think what else is good. Um, this was something new too. Last year when we went to Schoolie Palooza, we weren't living in our bus. It was just our recreational vacation vehicle. And I got a lot of flack because I didn't have a stove or an oven. So through peer pressure, I have a two burner stove now. And um, for my birthday, I got the, the wooden top. And this is Doug's old um, tool chest, which is also a new part of the bus. This was kind of left empty just with the garbage and some water on the floor last year. So now we have our um, some storage and our garbage basket in there. 
and these are good for our pots and pans and things so it works out great it's more storage for us um, we have um, TVs also new didn't have that last year and this is a great addition when you're living on the bus um, you really do want to watch some TV <laughs> so that was good the TV is new uh, we have a regular rental refrigerator a home refrigerator. residential residential yeah. yes um, our microwave um, all this works on solar panels um, so I'm really happy with the solar the way it works we also have the stove runs by propane um, as we come through we leave our living room kitchen area and we come into the bathroom area we have a full-size shower which um, my husband put together from Lowe's he put in a cedar top for us um, which we both love it's it's nice and roomy and um, we love it we have the nature's head um, composting toilet which we also love um, vanity came from Ikea as well as the countertops from the counter here and the counter in the, the kitchen again we have our um, nice hatches which open up oops a little a little messy in there <laughs> and we have our our towels on this side this is our closet. It hasn't really been totally completely finished yet, but it does the job. We have our um, clothes here. And I'll tell you, when you come out to live on your rig, it seems like everybody brings too much clothes. And I can tell you it's true. I have a lot of clothes that we need to get rid of that we are not using. But again, you never know what the weather is gonna be. So I think that's one of the reasons everybody holds on to things because you're not sure. This is our bedroom in the back of the bus. Uh, I did twin beds. I thought that was a lot easier to do rather than a big bed trying to make it and get through. Um, we have our water tanks under each bed. We have 48 and 48 gallons on each side. We have our hot water heater in the back. And um, the new thing in this part of the bus is our shelving here in the back. It was just opened last year and it kind of was a free-for-all for just junk. So now Doug put up a, a nice shelf for us and um, the baskets are a great addition because now it kind of organizes the stuff that we had down here. And um, it's basically laundry, blankets, some um, extra sheets and towels up there. Doug also went and put in a nice screen in the back. It's not opened now, but um, when the windows open, we have a nice screen there and it keeps out the bugs. When we had camped in Florida, it was needed. There was a lot of pesky bugs there, the no seams especially. Uh -huh. So that's our bus. Very happy to have it and uh, never thought I would live on it. And everybody laughs this year with the people that we're with because I said last year there was no way I would ever be able to live on our bus. And here I am.
Like I said, I never thought I'd be living on our bus. We had gone to Mexico a few times, and one of the things that we have purchased is dream it, plan it, and do it. We're not really the plan part. We just dream it and kind of do it. So if you've ever thought that this is something you would like to do, by all means, go ahead. It's a lot of fun. You meet a lot of neat people, and you see some fantastic things. Thanks for coming.